Hello, Loopsider. My name is Naomi McKenzie. I'm one of the two co-founders of Kytro. A lot of the reason that we see food waste is because of consumer expectations. Even when we talk about supermarkets or restaurants, the fact that we go into a supermarket and we always expect to see avocados there or salad. Essentially in the past what we had was that you had to stand next to your trash bin and write down everything you were throwing away or you collected everything in a bin and you just weighed your bin at the end. And we wanted to know exactly what the composition of the food waste is. So we take images, the weight and the time of what's being thrown away, and we take it automatically. So as soon as you throw something into the bin that's more than 40 grams, we're going to take a picture of it. And then with this picture, we take it on our side and we process the image to understand exactly what is seen in the image. And then the customers receive a dashboard that shows them an overview of their food waste so they can say, OK, what happened last Tuesday? Why did we have a peak in the food waste? OK, this menu item was thrown away or this category was thrown away the most and start to say, OK, where is it coming from and, and where can we can we change our operations? It emits a lot of CO2 emissions to grow food, transport food, store food. So when you remove food waste, you're not only removing the actual waste that food is causing, but also all the land resources, water resources, energy, transport, labor, all of these resources that go into it. So we hope that by collecting all this data, we can tell we've seen that on average, we're wasting 30% more than what would easily be achievable for any property if they just made some minor adjustments. Mm -hmm.